don't know about these rooms that exist, right? You don't by by you don't I'm talking about our culture. We're not we're not privy to certain environments because they don't exist for us. They're they're far few and in between. Um, but when it comes to that other side of revenue, when it comes to the other side of business relationships, well, the success that's over there is over there for a reason because it's all connected. And I was like, well, how how do how do I get there? How do I get over there? What are the moves that that people are truly making? And what is it that I'm not seeing or that I'm not getting? What did other people not see or get? And not on purpose, what wasn't given to them right, the opportunity. For, for them to understand that that existed. And I learned it was all about ownership. You know, what, what can you own versus not own? How much can you actually control? What, what IP can you develop? What, what are your resources to control your world, your brand? And I started to figure out ownership within myself. And I used the ownership within myself to find ownership within my entity. And that entity became another entity mm -hmm. because I figured out, well, here's film, here's production, this but this it. can be distribution. Mm -hmm. This can be streaming. Holy shit. This can be audio. Oh my God, this is another world, you know? Uh, me and Charlemagne, we just started a, a, a company with Audible where we created a company, Audible acts as our partners, but we own this company and we were like, well, in the world of audio, especially within books, uh, there's a there's a, a a gap between our culture and the rest of the world that's listening to books. And why is that? I, I don't think anybody's telling the right stories or giving the right material, the right opportunity for us to truly engage in the world of audio reading, right? which is listening while you're working or That's doing whatever. Favorite. So Charlemagne and I came up with a great concept. We executed it, but these all act as entities. Heartbeat Ventures. Well, investing is real. You know, once again, our culture, this information isn't given to us about money, about financial gain, right? Financial literacy is real, but it's also because of void. So I got great partnerships. Chase, Chase Bank is my real partners. All right, well, we can do our job in trying to figure out this financial literacy gap. Let's let's go to communities, give the information. At the same time, or well, within Heartbeat Ventures, I now have access into these other rooms. Well, we invest in the right things. We back the right companies. Our growth becomes high level growth with awareness and understanding that allows other people to see what I've done, mm -hmm. to see that it's not something that's impossible. It's about getting the information. So now that I have it, I give it. So all of these things act as my ecosystem, my brand. Literature, audio, movies, TV, distribution, right? Then that branches off into ambassador roles uh, and uh, other companies that you can own. So what else do I want to do? All right, well, I'm getting in the world of alcohol. If you have to do that, I'm going to fucking release a goddamn amazing brand. Um, that's TBD that's coming out. What else can I do? Well, what do I fucking like? I uh, like watches. Okay, well, I need to fucking figure out my watch relationship. Me and AP are going to launch something amazing. Mm, okay, AP? within fragrance oh, and the, the world of fragrance lotions. Well, I'm a guy that I like to be fucking clean. I like to smell good. Mm. I like products. Well, if these things exist and this is what I use, why can't I embed them in my ecosystem? So many people are afraid to not do things because of the response. Right. What you don't realize is that without no effort, there's no reward. I'm heavy on the effort. Mm -hmm. So all of those entities that exist are all based off of effort. And, you know, I've been blessed enough to create a crazy ecosystem with a great team. And, you know, until this day, we seem to be riding. But that's my priority now. Growing and, and having something that stands crazy, crazy, crazy high at the end of the day that my family, when it's all said and done, they take and they then do. That's yours. Yes, that's ours. That's like yours, this, That's right. what doesn't doesn't happen. Right. Right? We... we we don't know the world of grow and sell. We know the world of hire and get hired, mm -hmm. but we should be a part of the grow and sell conversations as well. And I'm starting to see them happen more and more. But when I look at Tyler, when I look at Oprah, when I look at Hove, when I look at, you know, Beyonce who's doing amazing shit as well. Well, you know, these conversations are only attached to like five or six puff. Think about it. You, you gotta, you gotta struggle to get to like eight names right. for us. It's a struggle and that's a problem. So the more that people kind of adapt this understanding and level of attempt, 
But then gaining information, I think the more we'll see doors just fly open. I agree. I agree. That's where I'm at with it now. Another gem. He's just dropping gems constantly about how to build wealth. How you just can't be in one lane. How you just can't be in one box. You know, the biggest criticism that I've received in my music career is that, you know, you're more known for your content and your marketing than you are for your music. And if that's the criticism that I'm going to get, I'm going to ride with that for the rest of my life. Because everything Kevin Hart said... It's where my mind is. It's where Jay-Z's mind is. It's where Tyler Perry's mind is. It's where people who are out here really shaking up the world is where their minds are. And so I'm not about to be tripping on that. I'm always going to make music. I'm always going to be a creative in that aspect. But building the infrastructure, that is where the money is. Kevin Hart gave you some right here. I'm going to give you some more after the break. Y'all got to truly understand this and lock in. This is not a game out here. We're living in one of the greatest times in human history when it comes to acquiring wealth. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. I'm going to break down all my income that I have coming in from this when it started with just me rapping on the mic and how you can do the exact same thing. So if you're interested in that, hit like, hit follow, hit share, Comment, subscribe, watch this entire video, and make sure you watch another video after this. My ducks, my swans, welcome to the pod. My name is Dorian from Group82University.com, and right here, Kevin Hart exposes his $200 million wealth building strategy. Now, I do not have $200 million. I do not have a million dollars. But I'm not where I want to be yet. I can say this. I'm doing better at my business at this point. It's been about three and a half, four years than I ever thought I would be at this point right here. And there are a lot of people that started businesses with me or before me, and they're nowhere to be found, or they're not doing what I'm doing. The reason I've had success with not just my music but the other income streams i have coming in make sure you watch the entire video so you can see that because i'm not afraid to pivot i see a bigger picture i have a bigger goal being a billionaire is a real thing for me my last name clark meaning some is a very big thing for me i don't want anybody from my lineage after me to have to worry about money there's too many other things in life we got to worry about if i can knock the money thing out let me go ahead and do that so right now these are some of the income streams that i have when it started with just music the first thing in my business income stream is absolutely music album sales royalties, publishing, and even merch at group82merch.com. These are things that every single artist needs to have. This is the foundation for my entire business because I had to learn how to market my music. I had to learn how to make music. I had to learn how the music business worked, which gave me a lot of knowledge, which allowed me to do other things. It's no different than Kevin Hart. The foundation of his business is comedy. Yes, he can do movies. Yes, he can do venture deals where he's investing in companies. But if he's not a comedian, all that falls apart. Same with LeBron with all the things he has coming from him his income tree. He has to be playing basketball for that stuff to really go at this point in his career. Now, eventually, Kevin Hart and LeBron won't have to be a comedian or a basketball player to have success, but right now, that stuff is huge on what they do. Same thing with me. Music is the foundation for it all. The second leaf on my business income tree that I'm going to talk to y'all about is content. Content, content, content. I make content every single day, whether it's short form content, whether it's long form content, whether it's Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. I'm making content all the time because content pays. Podcast content pays. YouTube ads pay. YouTube shorts is, is taking off like crazy. They're eventually going to have ads on there as well. This content thing pays. All these social media platforms need content because they cannot keep up with making just original content. That's what happened to television stations. That's what happened to movie studios. They can only make original content. Therefore, now they're getting blown out by these social media platforms. So all these platforms need your experiences. They need your creativity. They need you to pick up this phone and really start making some noise. So therefore, you can start getting paid, which is a huge part of what I do. And it's a free marketing vehicle for the third thing which is affiliate links i got a lot of affiliate links to buddy coinbase vid iq got amazon links i got book links i got all types of links because when i talk about something inside of a video i want to make sure that i get paid for it i got a nice following on youtube i got a nice following on instagram because of that when those eyes see that i'm talking about something and i believe in it they're probably gonna click it and they're probably gonna buy it because i have built up a trust with my audience i don't never tell y'all bullshit and i don't never tell y'all nothing that i haven't done myself or i haven't researched extensively and told y'all hey i ain't did this but this is what I know. If you know more, write in the comments. And y'all know that's how I get down. Therefore, the trust is there. 
because I haven't lied to y'all. So it makes my affiliate links extremely valuable, which is a great source of income for me inside of the content. The fourth way I make money is through music marketing service at group82music.com. We start off as we were building websites and writing biographies and Wikipedia pages and beat stores and writing music video treatments and cover arts and logos. But the main thing that brought money in over there is Spotify playlist placements. We still do that at group82music.com. We only offer permanent playlist placements now. So if you want to get your songs on our playlist permanently, the best deals we've ever had, go to group82music.com and go buy that right now. Everything is on sale right now too. But that is a great way that I've been able to use my music marketing knowledge and get paid. That was the springboard where I could become a full-time entrepreneur and I could leave my job because every sale I got, I took half and I put it away. In addition to that broke-ass golden parachute that the company that I worked for gave me when I left of about 11000 I used all that as seed money to give Group 82 the momentum it needed to get to where we are today. So my knowledge really paid off in getting me out of my nine to five. And the fifth way I'm gonna tell y'all how I make money is through group82university.com. Because I have all these experiences with music, with music marketing, with affiliate links, with digital marketing, with content marketing, with video marketing, I learned a lot. I learned a whole lot. And there'll be a lot of people that were asking questions. I'm like, you know what? I'm about to put a course together. And I put that course together, how to market your music on social media. That's one of the best ideas we've ever had. And we're helping other people make money. That's the best thing about courses, man. Yeah, the money is good when I get a sale. I love when y'all buy the course, but the fact that I know that y'all about to get this knowledge that helped me set up this entire business income tree, that's similar to what Kevin Hart is doing on a much smaller scale, and now you can do the exact same thing is why I say that how to market your music on social media course is so important. It ain't about that it's gonna make you chart number one on iTunes and all that. That's up to you and your fans and your work ethic and how your music sounds. But what you can do is make content and have affiliate links and offer services in addition to your music and even set up your own own course where now you have set up an entire ecosystem like Kevin Hart has, like Dorian has, where now you can leave your nine to five. You got to have residual passive income. You got to have a bunch of income streams, way more than what I just told y'all on this list. Cause I got about 20 of them that make me a lot of money. So if you're somebody that's interested in that. You on Instagram, click that link up top. You on YouTube, click that link in the box. Buy our course, it's originally 2,000, on sale 4,000. You can get a roll for $250 through PayPal credit, pay in forward and get on that payment plan right now. Click the links, watch another video, out the pod. Y'all stay true. Rotate, 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 rotate. Group82University.com.